Welcome to the Trimmed Up Series here at Saginaw Bay, Stage 7 of the Bass Pro Tour. So it doesn't look like it here because we're back in a river, but Saginaw Bay is a giant fishery. It's simply a little bitty bay off of Lake Huron, but it's about three times the size of Lake St. Clair. It's about 60 miles long. It's really unique. So normally you think Great Lakes, dominant smallmouth. While the smallmouth are the bigger fish here, they're very few and far between. It doesn't have a huge population. Tons of marshy largemouth stuff. It looks a lot like Lake Okeechobee. However, the water's down this year. Do you risk it all and go for that 20 to 25 pound bag of smallmouth, but you risk zeroing? Or do you play it safe and go for largemouth? Day one of practice, it was windy to start. Fish for some largemouth, caught some fish. Then I went smallmouth fishing, fished for eight hours, only caught two bass. They were big ones though. You know, yesterday, kind of a wash. Not a whole lot I'm excited about. So today we started, kind of played it safe, fishing for largemouth. Hopefully we're gonna find us something where we can catch that easy 13, 14, maybe even 15 pounds. Then we go look for those big smallmouth because if you can somehow mix that together, I think that's the recipe to win angler of the year. Not a bad fish. Like a two nine. Big him. <laughs> We're gonna idle out to the mouth. We don't get a bite here pretty quick, and then if we don't catch him shortly after that, we're gonna get out of here. They get Sunday ticket for free with that antenna right there. It's trash, bro. Rat. Second, I keep hoping that I'll have that happen and double up. You gotta be 110. That's probably about what that is. Really close. Three in a row. Three in a row. <laughs> See if we can do three in a row. Boo. That stinks. That's a big one. Good one. Four of those and then like a three and a half pounder, you get checked. You get a check. Question is, is how do you manage to do that consistently? Haven't figured that one out yet. All right, I think we go. If I don't get bit leading in, I don't want to go back. Cool, is that a bass? There's no way that's a bass. No, it's a pike. The trash fish of the north. I'm sorry for anybody that's offended by that. Okay, we got him. And I got my jackhammer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. That's a nice northern. A nice little northern, eh? I would imagine a gar probably tastes better than a northern pike. I would like to be out deep catching 20 pounds of smallmouth way out offshore, but we did that all day yesterday. Caught two. <laughs> so now we're up shallow. We're out on, the, on a massive grass flat right now. I say massive. It's a couple hundred acres. And uh, winding around a chatterbait. And the reason I'm doing that, so uh, you've got marshes all back in behind us, really for miles. And the water's come down on the Great Lakes, about 18 inches from when I was here two years ago. And there's just not as much cover in the lily pads and cattails and really shallow stuff. And the fish, I mean, I've had some bites up in it, but it just hasn't been great. And so with that, I'm, I'm, I'm fishing out in front out here, trying to find a, a school of fish. It's, it's relatively shallow. It's only three feet right here. Um, but I'm, you know, fishing out over this grass, hoping to find something that maybe other anglers aren't going to find. You know, if you're fishing on an obvious uh, deeper point of cattails, that stuff's going to get hit really hard. I don't think you're going to be able to make that work over multiple days. And I'm in group B, so that's why we're out here fishing around a little deeper. I'm John Doe, you know what I mean? I just feel like that trim system, if it's in a bind, could break. Should, I, should we go back and should I try to fit, work on that bolt for a second? Before I break something worse? Yeah, I got I'm, I gotta go get a new trim system. Actually, I needed a part. The service yard wasn't open last night and I drove through the night. We're staying an hour away from the service yard. So after I got off the water at nine o'clock last night, I drove in, got the part off of a league boat, fixed a part. That one part breaking had ended up breaking another part on my boat. 
And so I ended up having to come in to the service yard again today. And now we're stuck by a train. <laughs> I can't make this up. Like, it's just meant to be that we don't practice a full practice this week. I've done everything I can to try to maximize my fishing time to get stuck by a train. That's what we need. We need some Saudi money in bass fishing. You see me out here rolling up in a Lamborghini Urus pulling a Phoenix. All right, we're back on the water. Uh, same place we were at before. We lost about two hours there. I had to get some necessary maintenance done on the motor. The wind hasn't laid like they were calling to. There's a lot of things that just really haven't gone to plan this week. So we're gonna go try to make some good decisions, find some fish. If nothing else, I'm gonna eliminate some water and uh, just kind of go from there. Tournament day, we may be fishing a lot of new water. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we can get a pattern or, or an area really honed in. But worst comes to worst, we'll go fish new water. What is 264? It's a 210. So many people got upset from the Cayuga fish for me not showing the scale. So it wasn't actually a 615 or whatever. So we showed the scale to prove it was a 210 for all you haters. Not a bad one. Wow, that fish was shallow though. Like, that deep. See, what you have here is you have a hook with a bellow shad on it. And that's a three and a half pounder. <laughs> Probably the only bite I'm gonna get. Oh, look at that, he's been cold. He's been caught in cold. Look at that. Oh, what a shame. Ooh, good fish release. Thank you. Well, you gotta respect the big ones. Little ones, they get yeeted. <laughs> big ones, they get gently released. Okay, no more hooky in here. If I catch 15 bass like that over three days, that's angler of the year, right there. Now, that's very difficult to do. It's gonna rain for like four seconds. By the time I get this rain suit on, it's gonna be done. Oh, wow, so dry. It is one feet deep here. <laughs> you know, I'd like, I'd like every practice to go to plan, but a lot of times they kind of go like what we've had this week. Uh, you know, either weather conditions don't allow you to fish right, um, you can have mechanical breakdowns, you can just have bad days on the water where you don't catch anything. And you kind of have to keep an open mind going into the tournament. You can't let practice beat you during the tournament. Uh, so you kind of have to be okay with fishing new water. Take the small pieces of the puzzle that you put together, if any. Just try to go from there. And if you haven't put any pieces of the puzzle together, be okay with trying something completely new. Clearly, if you had a bad practice, don't go running back to the same stuff you had a bad practice in. So just, you know, you got to keep an open mind, continue to fish new water, and hopefully you stumble onto them derby day. You know what I didn't try though is the dice. I don't know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for, I don't know where it is. So now we know score tracker and kind of what it took today. Now I'll preface this by saying it was a slick calm day, just like beautiful fishing weather, large mouth, small mouth, all of it. Overall didn't have a great practice, you know, but that doesn't necessarily mean everything for the tournament. We can, we can stumble onto them, find them. Uh, it's just gonna be a de decision, it's a game of decisions. Like, do we fish for small mouth? Do we fish for large mouth? We gotta play the wind smart. Um, really right now the goal is to make the knockout round. It's not gonna be easy. I haven't had a great practice. Make the knockout round, then just kinda let the cards fall where they may. It's a one day shootout at that point, trying to make the top 10. Um, but we have got our work cut out for us this week. It's not gonna be easy. You know, y'all watching this week, this year, y'all seen a lot of like first day smash fest and then I just get to go practicing. I don't think it's gonna be the case this week. I think we're gonna have to grind for every quality bite and uh, hopefully we can, we, can, we can get the job done. Cause Jacob smashed him today. Like Jacob was the one that was six points behind me. He caught a big bag today. He's in second place. And so clearly Jacob is gonna do what Jacob does. He's gonna have a great tournament. So we've gotta do the same to match. Thank you guys for watching all the content here with the Trimmed Up series. If you guys like what you've seen, click right up here in the corner. There's gonna be a smash fest from Lake St. Clair. And stay tuned for day one here at Saginaw Bay. There's a lot on the line.